Hey guys, Michael here with uh, Ray LePage and more changes coming to BC Real Estate. And this one will be including the increased density for single family housing. So BC works to increase housing density. The legislation will be introduced in the fall to increase housing in the province, including bringing in a province-wide law to allow up to four units on traditional size single family laws. That's the announcement by Premier David Eby. The housing minister, Ravi, said even more density could be permitted in areas well served by the transit. This means no more long zoning processes just to build a duplex, triplex, or row home. Without more of these types of homes, we risk pushing more of our next generation out of this province, he said. And this move is expected to help homeowners who are struggling to pay their mortgage, especially with the rising interest rates and higher maintenance costs. So in future, they're expecting that you're not going to be able to afford your payments. The pilot program expected to open to at least 3,000 homeowners for the first three years. EB is also promising a flipping tax to discourage any speculation. If you are holding a home right now that you intend to flip, and if you are thinking about buying a home for the purpose of flipping it, the message today is that the tax is coming and it will cost you more money. It achieves the goal, which is getting away from people buying a home to build it for a short period of time and sell it for a higher price, driving the cost higher, he said. Reducing homelessness is a key part of the plan, with a proposal to add 3,900 supportive housing units and 240 complexes. The province is providing $50 million to help local governments implementing zoning changes for small-scale multiple-unit homes and secondary suites, on top of a $1 billion in a new infrastructure grants announced in the provincial budget in February. And this is designed to encourage municipalities to look very dramatically and think very aggressively at how to create more housing. And some location will be even more, I guess, de in demand. And they're looking at some possibilities of having up to six unit on some of the lots. Single family detached homes are out of reach for many people. And one bedroom or two bedroom condos often don't meet the needs of growing families wanting to move out of the apartments or needing more room. The province said. The province noted that 100,000 people moved to BC in 2021 and another 150,000 people in 2022, which is the highest amount in the last 60 years. In the first two quarters of this year, we are breaking last year's records, which itself was a 60-year high in a population growth, said EB. We are growing gangbusters and we need our housing supply to keep up with it. So this is the plan, what BC is up to with the zoning and new regulation. Let me know in your comments what do you think and follow me for more.